Ramesh, the United Nations, of course, uh, helped in the very formation of Israel after the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. Do you think the United Nations has now lost its way? Well, the United Nations is a microcosm of the full international community that has grown far more diverse than was the case when the United Nations was founded and when Israel was set up. Uh, there is a lot more, uh, there are far more countries today that reflect what was a minority opinion at the time that the UN committee recommended the creation of Israel. So in that sense, it's, it's reflecting that already. But as I said, those are different issues. It's possible to retain support for Palestine, to retain support for Palestine as a state, uh, to criticize the Israeli policy. But I think the danger is too many people have now conflated that with anti-Semitism and calls for the extermination of Jews. I did not believe in my lifetime I would see on the streets of Sydney, hear chants or cast the Jews. That oh, no. should be a crime. People who are there and engaged in the chant should be identified and prosecuted to the full extent, full extent of the law. And if the law permits, I would actually like them deported. Yeah, yeah, no, very strong comments there. Ramesh, you wrote this amazing piece in the Fin Review. Uh, you were overseas for the past couple of weeks since you wrote it. But you have a line in there that says, progressives who attack women's rights ag advocates as Nazis guilty of transgender genocide then go on to celebrate the worst massacre of Jews since the Holocaust. Very quickly, have, have the left... Have the, have the left just completely got themselves muddled up in, in their morals here? Absolutely. If Israel was to release the 43 minutes of raw footage it has compiled for public consumption, I think every Australian, and in particular these groups, should be made to watch that and then be asked the same question at the end of that. Uh, I doubt very many of them would be able to survive the 43 minutes uh, without reaching... Uh, or without just breaking down in tears. All right, Ramesh Thakur, thank you so much for your time. Ramesh, a former United Nations official.